So we've been introduced to the concept of surface tension. We said surface tension is a force acting along the surface of a liquid that is in contact with a gas that makes that surface act like a thin elastic sheet. So in this lesson, let us learn more about the applications of surface tension. Now, did you know that there are some reptiles and insects that can walk on water? Some of these animals are able to walk or stay on water due to this phenomenon called surface tension. For instance, water striders can stay or walk on lakes, ponds, or rivers due to the ability of the water surface acting like a stretched skin and supporting them. Now, as you can see from this image, the legs of the insect tend to depress the surface of the water, like a stretched skin. Also, surface tension is what is responsible for making waterproof materials more effective. Waterproof materials, such as umbrellas, tents, and raincoats are treated with oil-based substances that prevent water from wetting the material. What happens is that a thin film of water is then formed across the spaces between the threads of the fabric. It is now this skin that repels water from seeping through using surface tension. But if someone touches that umbrella from the inside, the surface film is broken and water enters through that point. Now, have you ever had a challenge trying to wash an oily plate with water only? This is difficult because oil or dirt tends to repel water, which cannot wet the material enough to wash it effectively. Now, good knowledge of surface tension applies here also. In the previous lesson, we mentioned that heat reduces surface tension. So by washing in warm water, the heat reduces the surface tension of the water, which makes it easier for the water drops to attach to the dirt particles and carry them away from the material. Detergents also help you get stains off easily, right? Now, this action is due to some ingredients in them called surfactants. The word surfactant is coined from the words surface, active, and agents. These surfactants help to further reduce the surface tension of the water for easier stain removal. So, surfactants have another job also. Their molecules have one end attached to water molecules and one end attached to the dirt and oil to make them more soluble in water. With this, the dirt is removed and it's easier for the water to wash the plate clean. So in this lesson, we have learned three examples of surface tension in action. In animals that can walk on water, in waterproofing materials, and in the cleansing action of detergents. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.